Good morning. It's me again. Greetings in the name of Jesus. I pray the blood over you. I bind all kinds and powers, the rules of darkness and high places, and I render powerless against you in your household. You that don't know Yeshua, Messiah. That's Jesus, the anointed one. Christ means the anointed one. If you do not know him, he's waiting just for you. He died and he rose again just for you. He has set you free over 2,000 years ago. But really from the foundation of the earth, as I explained before. A lot is going on in our world today. A lot of things are happening. Our country looks like it's at a bit bliss. I'm talking to you saints out there who know Yeshua Mashiach. Wake up. Listen to your heart. We need to pray for Israel. She needs us. She needs protection. Jesus says, do not forsake yourself in praying for her. Keep her in your remembrance. The United States is turning on her. We cannot stand by as children, spirit-filled children of God. We cannot stand by and let this happen. Wake up. Stand up for Israel. She needs us. The United States needs us to get back. I'm talking to the saints. We need to get back and pray for our nation to be protected. We need to take our nation back by the blood of Jesus and the word of our testimony that he is the son of the living God, that he is the way and the truth and the life. No man's going to come under the Father except through Jesus. Wake up. We need prayer. We need to get on our knees. You that have heavenly language, start praying in the Holy Ghost. Do not allow this to happen to us. People are suffering, and it's just mild. It's going to hit. As the Lord said, this will happen in the end days. He said this would be. So you who are lazy in the spirit, quit being lazy. Get back in the Word of God. Put the Word of God on in your home 24-7. Put the Bible. Get Bible on CD. Put it on. When you're out, put your iPod or your MP3 in your ear and listen to what the Word says. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the Word of God. Listen. Listen to men and women of God who know the Word of God. Jesus said in the end days, He says, I will turn the wealth of the sinner over to the just. Not for our to have... Uh, big fancy vehicles and beautiful homes. Yes, God wants to bless us, but we need to be a blessing. Souls are at stake. Yes, you out there that's going through, like my husband's been laid off. So, you that's been going through rough times, still tithe, still give, still pray. Pray for someone else that's going through the suffering that you are going through. Wake up in the name of Jesus. Wake this nation up. Don't be ashamed of Jesus, even if they mock you and tell you things like, uh, I got an email from a precious soul. Oh, I know where you're coming from, but my theology, I have theology. Well, theology sends men to hell. That's what theology does. It is a deception. You get arrogant. My own daughter gets into psychology and theology. She's very intelligent. We got to stop playing church. We got to stop pretending we know Jesus when you don't know who he is. He's not a name, just a name. He is a person in a relationship with him through the Holy Spirit, through the Word of God, through the sword of the Spirit, and through the blood of Jesus that he shed for you seven different places at Calvary. Wake up, church, in the name of Jesus. I cry out to you. Don't be deceived. God is not mocked. We are going on a path to destruction if the United States children do not stand up and pray out to the Lord and weep and well. That's what's coming on the United States is not going to be so nice. We got to listen to his words. We got to understand that he is the one that only could protect this great nation. 9 11 nothing what they have planned against us. They hate us with a passion. And it's 
and the, and the hatred towards people like me and you that are real, that know the Lord and love the Lord, we are going to be persecuted beyond anything that we've ever experienced here in the USA. When the pavement hits the road, we're going to find out who's who and who's what. People go through some not nice things in this life. But if you have Jesus, you're going to prevail. You're going to prevail. Get on your knees, America. Get on your knees. Yeshua Mashiach is coming. People, judgment's coming. And God's stepping back. People say, well, how can God um, judge us? Hey, Israel is his chosen. And he stepped back from them. Because of their wanting to do their pagan ways. And that was his children. Who are we next to them? We're born again only because a Jewish man named Jesus. Who came from heaven, the son of the living God, came to this earth. So we can be set free because of what Adam and Adam, you say Adam and Eve, committed against us and we have dealt with Lucifer Satan the evil one I call him deceives you and say, oh man that woman knows what she's talking about she's a lunatic she's a nobody and yeah, maybe to the world I'm a nobody but I'm a daughter of the king of the most high who created me in his image he created you in his image he gave his life so you do not have to lose your life I am telling you in the name of Jesus, wake up. Time is running out. There is no more time. It is now. It's coming. Jesus says, when you see these things start to come to pass, he says, look up your redemption for all of night. Don't be one of the five foolish virgins. And I am tired of people telling me stuff. They'll tell me what other people have said. Or they know something and they don't get in the Word of God. Or they don't listen to the Word of God, but they know what they're talking about. Get in your own Bible and prove people like me wrong if you know it all. I want to thank you for your time. I am not arrogant human being. I'm not a human. I'm in the image of God. Uh, I want to pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I bring these precious souls unto you, Father God, that you died and you rose again. Those that have stopped us, I know this message ain't for everyone, Lord, but for those that are seeking the truth to know who you are, Father God, open their eyes to hear with their spirit man. Let them see that you are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Let them see that you love and died and rose for each and every one of them. You are no respecter person. Jesus, I'm asking you, there ain't no sin that they have committed, Jesus, that you would not forgive them. Jesus, woo to the souls of man that want to know who you are. Faith comes by hearing you, God, and hearing your word. You change a person once that filthy, dirty man is thrown off. The righteousness of God comes in. Jesus, you took our sin upon you. You knew no sin and became sin. Jesus, opened the eyes of those who are seeking the truth and that can be prayer warriors that can love and honor and respect the, the holiness that you are and that are not ashamed when others come after them that they stand their ground and look at them with the love of you in their heart and say Jesus loves you and their heart melts within them even though they may be nasty back to you they will remember you and they will remember what your son or daughter has done in your name. In Jesus' name, I thank you, Yeshua Mashiach. Amen. Maybe I'll see you all in heaven. I'm still looking up.